Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy, and in this video we are going to be weighing some wild hybrid mice. They are 62.5% wild, roughly. Um, I have this round cylinder that I'm going to put them in because they are wild hybrids and they're a little bit crazy. Um, down here you can see that I've got a, the whole thing is on a scale. I'm going to zero it out so that we can try to get their weights. And the reason why I'm getting their weights is because I am selecting them to be small. So. Let's get started. They're a little crazy. Let's hope this goes goes okay. So that's one. Actually, I should probably get a um, something for reference, a size reference, you know? Um, I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, let's do this. So I think that she's actually the smallest. She's 7 point, I'm gonna do 7.8. It bounces around a little bit, but I mean, this is not, hard science here, we're just, just, just kind of get an idea for what they weigh. Um, I'm gonna put a coin in here. Can you see you're okay? It's a quarter. Um, yeah, so I, I think that she actually might be the smallest one. She's, uh, she's black with a little white head spot, uh, female, very tiny, very kind of petite looking. Um, and actually they are... Oh, I'm not prepared to do this video at all. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I think they are 21 days today. They were born on April 2nd, and I think today is like April 22nd, maybe? Yeah, I think they're around 20 days. I'll have to double check that, and I'll write that in the title of the video. Um, but yeah, there she is. Uh, let's, uh, I'm actually going to have to I'm gonna take her out. Actually, I'm going to take the whole thing over here so I can reach it a little better. <laughs> they do not like being held. Uh, and then put this back. We're going to zero it out again because the coin affects the weight. It's back at zero. And uh, let's take a peek at another one. So this is my first time getting uh, mice that are uh, have these the blue and the black color, but are more than 50% wild. Um, I also noticed that these guys seem to have some length in their coat. So that was a pleasant surprise. They I, they are known to have some length in their. Uh, this is 8.1. Um, the wild line, the wild hybrid line, is known to have some angora in there. So we have thrown some angora mice, and his what grandfather? These, the grandfather of these ones here, um, was angora. So, uh, yeah. So he's kind of cute. Very tiny. This one's eight point one grams. So roughly what 0.3 grams, um, about point three grams uh, heavier than the other one. Um, so yeah, and I'm not sure, I'm going to have to remove it over here just so I can get it closer to me. Um, <clears throat> the first one's definitely a female. This one might be a male. So, sorry, this one's going to be a, uh, I think it's female. There's a lot of females in this litter. It's mostly females. Um, hey. Uh, my dog loves when they squeak. All right, another blue one. Uh, this one is gonna be 8.4. I'm rounding it up, um, 8.4. Blue female, 8.4, and this one's a blue. Uh, also has some length here. There's a little bit of length on that coat. Um, my favorite one is the black one, the little black one. She's, she's so cute and tiny. Uh, but let's see if this one's a male or female. Yeah, I'm sorry that I have to move it out of the range of the camera, but I don't have a good... Uh, it's hard to get into this little... the cylinder. This one I think is female too. It's hard to get into the cylinder here with my hand uh, in front of the camera. I'm just going to re-zero that. So, let's see, who do we have next? 
Another blue one. Uh, also female. Are they all females? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, another female. I'm going to say 8 point. I was going to round up. We're going to do 8, 8.46 on this one. Um, blue female. Um, they are not as agile as I would expect them to be for being such a high percentage of wild. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting. And they're actually a lot tamer than I would have expected them to be as well. Um, so I'm not sure exactly why that is. But, uh, yeah, see some, some Angora on this one too. No Rex on any of these, uh, because they don't have any Rex in their ancestry. Uh, and Rex is also dominant, so you wouldn't expect Rex to just appear. <clears throat> So this one, I don't know, they all look female to me. Uh, this one is a satin, and I have no idea what color this one is. If anyone has an idea, <laughs> let me know. Some sort of dilution gene. Um, I don't think it's an agouti base color. I think it's a non-agouti color. Um, so it's some sort of non-agouti with some sort of dilution gene and a head spot and satin. Um, but uh, this one is... Uh, it's moving around a lot here. Let's wait for it to stop moving. This is probably not the best way of measuring them, but it's also not super important that it's exact. I'm going to say this one's like 8.7-ish. I think this one's a little bit larger. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what you'd call this one. Is this one a satin beige, maybe? Um even though I'm making YouTube videos about mice, I don't necessarily know everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never seen this color before in my, my litter. But it seems to be larger than the black one. So yeah, let's uh, take her out and look at the next one. Can we see him okay in the video? I hope we can see him okay. Yeah, there she is. And so much for the quarter. The quarter just disappeared right away. I, I kind of dread even interacting with the wild hybrid ones because if one of them gets out, they're they're gone. They're not coming back. Uh, I mean, I could probably catch it with a live trap, but it's not like a wild mouse, which will just hang out, you know. And so I think we have our last last one here. This one. Yeah, it also looks female. I'm pretty sure one of them is a male, but I don't know which one. And ooh, look at this one. This one is 6.15. Definitely the tiniest of the bunch. Uh, and this one is a goody. It might even be a satin a goody. It does look kind of shiny to me. Um, I'm not sure. There's something interesting going on uh, on its... Uh, neck here. I don't know if we can see that in the video, but on the, the front neck, it's almost got like a uh, like a, a cowlick or whatever you want to call that on its neck, which is something that is kind of interesting. Um, I haven't seen that in any of my mice. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely the tiniest. I thought, th I thought that the black one was the tiniest, but apparently <laughs> it's this one, which kind of stinks because I don't want the agouti color, <laughs> but it is what it is, you know? Um, let's see if we can get a better angle. Oh, I don't want to jump out, but let's see if we can do a little bit of this. Yeah, see, real tiny, really, really tiny. Um, yeah, I've, I've considered just like stopping my whole wild hybrid project because they are so much harder to work with. Um, I can do this. Uh, so much harder to work with. And uh, I've considered just stopping it altogether. But people seem to like it when I make posts about them and I get so many messages and questions and stuff. Um, yeah, is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That was all of them. Just checking the bedding to make sure that was it, but it is it. Yeah. So, um, so that was my wild hybrid line. That's where we're at with those guys. Um, it looks like the smallest one is about 6.15 grams. The next smallest one is 7.8, which is a black female. 
uh, which is unfortunate because I would love one of the, the longer haired blue ones <laughs> or even the satin one uh, to be the smallest, but I guess that's not happening. Um, and that, one of the things that I'm working on, I wish I had something for you guys to watch while I was uh, doing this. Actually, we could probably do... How about that? Um, I have to put them in a covered, a covered container while I do it because they will run away on me. Um, yeah, so one of my ideas with this is, is that I want to breed them down to a really tiny size by using the wild genes that I have. Um, and that's the mom in there, you can't tell. Um, I want to breed them down to a small size um, and then outcross them again to domestic to try to improve their temperament as well as continue to introduce and select for long hair. Because what I wonder is, is if hair length is affected by body size, like does, does the hair length scale with the body or could we have really, really tiny mice that would have length, uh, hair length that's the same size as one of my large mice? Um, and so like Bumble, if you look at my Instagram, Bumble had this amazing coat of fur. Uh, but could you imagine that coat on a mouse that's like half the size or a quarter of the size? That might be amazing. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what we're shooting for with these guys. Um, and it is kind of counter... Uh, it kind of goes against um, the kind of breeding standards for fancy mice because fancy mice are supposed to be large. Uh, and so part of me kind of wanted to just give up on this whole project, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not even sure what's going to be going on with my entire breeding project, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with all of it, you know? But uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to wrap this video up and uh, we'll check back in with these guys. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have some pups from them. I mean, so they're about, um, what, 20 days old, so we won't be able to have pups from them for, what are they, three weeks? For another, like, three or four weeks uh, until I could pair them, and then it would be another two, two or three weeks until the babies are born. So, you know, I wouldn't expect pups from these guys for another two months or so. Uh, but hopefully we will have some. Um, so, yeah. So thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you again in the next video.